Sure is. Thanks, Dar. Well, our guest tonight uh, can teach us all a lesson in pursuing our passions. Her name is Susan Cameron. She's the author of a brand new novel, These Four Walls. Here it is right here. The book tells the story of a, a girl named Rose, orphaned at the age of 11 back in, in 1935. The author tells the story of how dedication, skill, and uh, commitment uh, to a project can result in a fantastic finished project. And uh, we want to welcome you so much. Uh, for uh, joining us tonight here on Live at Five, Susan. Thank you so much, Bruce. Let's start by talking about uh, the fact that this is your, your, your first book, your first project. So what, what inspired you to, to sit down and write a novel? That's a big job. <laughs> it is a big job. And I had done some um, uh, less ambitious um, projects um, before this, short story collection and some short plays and um, some military history. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, this theme, the legacy of loss uh, in early childhood, grew on me um, over the last um, 10 or 15 years and I decided that I wanted to try and put that theme into fiction form. Yeah, I, I want to ask you more about that. Why do, did you feel kind of compelled to write a story about a, an orphan? Yes particularly when there are many orphans in English and Canadian literature, sure. including our famous Anne Shirley, exactly. PEI. Yeah. And my character Rose is definitely not Anne Shirley <laughs> <laughs> in many ways. Um, the orphan theme uh, surfaced in my own family. Oh, is that right? Uh, my mother was an orphan in an earlier time period than this is set, mm -hmm. and not in Halifax. And so, um, interestingly enough, was my mother-in-law. And um, I realized after they had gone that I didn't know really very much about their early lives because they never talked about their early lives. And it fascinated me and kind of haunted me. And I decided I'm going to have to explore this further and I'm going to do some research and get started uh, with this fiction project in mind. And you, you mentioned Anne. Yes. And there is actually a, a little bit of a connection here. I understand uh, this, all of this kind of resonated with readers, especially in PEI. Tell us how, how Rose is connected to Anne. Well, both of them are, in fact, products, Anne Shirley and Rose Morash, my character, are products of the Nova Scotia orphanage system of the late 19th century and the early 20th century. Came from the same system. Came from the same system, not the same orphanage. Um, Presumably. Yeah. We don't know exactly where Anne was uh, because Lucy Montgomery fictionalized that place too. Of course. But of course. we do know where Rose was. She was at the Halifax Protestant Orphanage in the North End, which is uh, the building still stands. It's now Vithos. Wanted to ask you about family secrets as well. Family yes. secrets play a, a kind of a starring role uh, yes. in, this, uh, in this work. What, what, what intrigues you about the things that people try to try to hide from their loved ones. What do, you, what do you find so fascinating about that? Well, it seems to me that the generations hide, and if not hide, do not tell each other lots about themselves. Mm. Um, and maybe that's uh, both um, coincidental, maybe that's um, purposeful, and maybe it isn't. I um, was chatting uh, just last year with an, an uncle who uh, was sharing with me a bit of his early life that I had never heard before. And um, I said to him, that is so fascinating. Why didn't you tell me that ever? And he said, you never asked. You never asked. <laughs> it was from a different generation. Yes. And speaking of generations, you're not from uh, Rose's generation. So what made you want to set your book during this time, the early 30s, mid 30s? Because I did want to explore the, t the generation immediately preceding my own. I'm of the boomer group, um, yeah. I guess you could say, yeah. and um, I wanted to understand a little better through some exploration what it was really like for the ordinary person in Canada, in, particularly in the 30s and the 40s, and in Halifax during those chaotic, uh, heady, but also lonely wartime years. Well, those who've read it say you have succeeded in that goal uh, in space. We want to thank you so much for coming in tonight. Thank you for having me. Susan Cameron, the author of uh, These Four Walls, uh, you can find it at bookstores right across our region. We're going to head right back to Star Dobson with a little more history right now.